Hello, YouTubians. <clears throat> Today I thought I'd do something a little different, so I'm outside. I'm going to review the shed I recently put up. It is a Rubbermaid uh, medium resin shed. It's a pretty easy shed to put together. I was surprised, it was surprisingly easy. It took me about, what I say? It, uh, it took me two days because I had to get to, to certain tools. So certain tools that you need, um, I'll, I'll probably um, tell you that later. I'll, I'll tell you which tools you need. Um, but it was pretty easy. Um, beginner level, I'd say, or intermediate, like in between. Like you need some some type of knowledge of of like, like how to use a drill. That's basically it. Just how to use a drill. Honestly, that's all you really need is a drill and drill bits. Um, that comes with all the tools really. Um, I wish I would I showed you how to make it, but I wasn't making YouTube videos at the time when I when I did it. I did it like a few weeks ago. I just started YouTube not too long ago. If you subscribe to me, you'll know. Um, but yeah, let me show you the shed. Let me show you a little issues that I might have as well. Okay, excuse my backyard. It's a little messy back here, but this is the shed. It's pretty spacious. You know has the little markings on there so you know you know which wall is which uh i'll put some stuff in here already so you can see how i'm going to and there's still a lot more space left it has these little brackets as well like it clips on easy so it hooks all the walls together pretty easy see this is what you'll, you'll be drilling holes here um he has these these brackets up here to keep the shut up at the top um, I did have some holes, you, you can tell. That's why I filled it with foam. I'm not gonna take it out because I don't wanna put it back in. Um, but yeah, so that's probably it, little holes, but I, it didn't even, it didn't have any leaks really. It's just holes, so the, it, it might be an eyesore. You might not like it. I mean, I think the foam is an eyesore as well, so. Um, but I never had any leaks. Like everything in here is dry. Like nothing's coming in. Um, and I, I like I had to put the shed on uh, uneven um, ground. I didn't put any concrete down, so the bottom is a little uneven. Um, yeah. So yeah, I don't like the fact that the hole is so small for the lock. It's made a pretty small lock. Well, it's pretty standard, but I guess it's medium. But I think it should be bigger. For a heavy duty lock or even a chain um yeah the doors they're pretty pretty level slight gap make sure you get outside i don't know if you could tell like this is not you know it's not leveled properly i don't know if that's my mistake because of the floor or just because of the shed, how it was made. But this one is pretty leveled. Yeah, this one is a lot better than the other one. And that you could tell, like, straight line, not straight. Yeah. This was the hard part right here. Getting in this groove. This is probably the hardest part of the job. This and, um, what else? It was another part that was hard, but this is because I didn't have the tool at the time. So yeah but you just need a uh, extended drill bit like one about that long i say two inches long uh, this is also not leveled i don't know if you could tell yep not leveled i couldn't even get the roof to sh like i couldn't put a hole here because the roof wasn't wouldn't come down because of this gap this uneven gap but all in all um pretty good it's pretty good shed i recommend it it's pretty easy i if i like do it like if i had all the time it took me to do it like if i hadn't didn't have to stop i say i did it in about three hours three hours to set this up and i'm not no i'm not a handyman i just have some basic knowledge how to use a drill and a hammer you may need a hammer oops that's my motorcycle i might do a review on that too uh, it's covered up right now so i won't show you but yeah so this side, 
But yeah, you really, you really only need a drill and a few drill bits. And maybe a hammer just in case you have any trouble um, leveling stuff and, you know, balancing stuff out and getting the nails a little further in. But yeah, um, I recommend this shed. It's, it's kind of expensive. I've seen cheaper ones. This shed cost me about $7.50 with tax around there. I think it's $6.77 flat online but with tax and stuff and then if you want to deliver it or whatever i don't have it delivered i just put it in the back of my um car and it fit no it was like an suv so it's a pretty big car um but it can fit it has, it's three rows but yeah this is the shed i'll put the link to the um shed in the description Okay, so these are the three items you're gonna need. You're gonna need a drill. Doesn't matter the brand, as long as it works and it fits these two items in there. You're gonna need the small drill bit and the extended drill bit. Small bit drill bit is actually um, optional, but you're definitely gonna need this one because uh, I had to go always to the store to get that because I couldn't get into the back of the shed to get into that groove. And this, the nozzle is too thick to, you know, to push through the groove to drill this and keep the, the roof down while you drill. So I de definitely recommend at least getting a two inch um, extended drill bit like this one or something similar to this because it is no real way for you to drill that, that roof down um, and fit in that groove with just that small drill bit, okay? Okay, that's all for today. I hope that was helpful. Um, let me know if you have any comments or questions or if you have the shed too, let me know how easy or how hard it was for you to install it. If you had any issues as well, um, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Have a good one.